Aero, may we speak? You're back. Good. Before we talk, I wanted to give you this. For helping me heal the land gods. Plainsong is in your debt. Thank you, Zo. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And... yours? What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. It looked like you were working on something over there. Just checking up on how well the land gods are doing, now that they've healed. And to think some people thought I should have given up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Read anything interesting lately? I found out the Old Ones use leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Katalo. Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How are things with everyone? 
Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal versus Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. This has did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. I couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, 
It didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I have to get going. We'll keep preparing for the mission ahead. From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. I should go get this to Gaia. Of course. Let us know when we're needed. There she is. Heard you had an interesting time at Thebes. Maniacs, lava, what's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. I discovered an Osirum militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. They're familiar with ancient tech, and they're as anti-Karge as it gets. They definitely have a base, a place called First Forge. We just have to find it. First Forge? I think I know where that is. I was back in Baron Light checking up on the Vanguard when my focus picked up on another one of these. An Asaram. I thought it was strange, so I decided to have a little chat with him. When he saw me coming, he ran. Caught up with him and he tried to crush his focus, but there was still data on it. A bunch of locations and coordinates. One of them was called First Forge. Didn't know what it meant, till now. Nice job. Now you know me. <laughs> Ancient tech expert. Did any of that data mention a woman named Asera? She's the one who's running the group. Oh no. You remember how Durval had a band of freebooters that retaliated against the Karja? Well, she was one of them. First female tinker in the claim to run her own forge. But when her family got killed in the Red Raids, she went bad. And real bad. I thought she was dead, though. Taken out by one of Marad's guys. She's not. And she wants revenge against the Karja. But I'm not gonna let it happen. Send me those coordinates, okay? Now hold on, Aloy. I'm coming with you. A Sarah's the last of a line of killers that murdered Ursa. I need to be there when she goes down. Of course. Send me the location and I'll call you when I'm close. All right then. I 
I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. I'm telling you, it's great, but it's soft. How does it sound? 
It says here it had bubbles in it. Well, we can't expect so this data is from a weapon of mass destruction or a game. Great, Aloy. Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the, um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Uh, of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. You mentioned Eric Visser? How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the Empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But, based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zeniths. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in, you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck, but even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. I need to get going, but if you need anything... All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. I'm back. Good. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. She couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping I would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. I need to go. Of course.
I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Looks like I can open that door now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. console. There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. Find the right strategy. Forget it. 
The man is unbeatable in the street. Try to be optimistic. Try to be realistic. We're terrible. Old ones like tiny soldiers? 